I'm Nancy Zeman of TV Sewing with Nancy, and I'd like to introduce you to a new product and concept developed by the Sewing with Nancy team. We've named this new product line Two in One Embroideries. Stitch outlines and designs are combined in one. Our first Two in One Embroidery product features a baby layette. I'd like to show you this foolproof embroidery approach. Two in One Embroideries is a hybrid combining stitch outlines for positioning and decorative embroidery. We've personalized it for newborn babies up to size large babies by all the components you see here. First of all, you'll receive a book and within the book you'll get all the instructions for working with two-in-one embroideries written in the standard Sewing with Nancy style with all the directions easy and all the illustrations clear, plus all the information you'll need for the embroideries, all the stitch and the thread selection and sequencing. The pattern is the important part to show you that the stitch outlines for the two-in-one embroideries have been designed to fit this McCall's pattern, size newborn through size large, McCall's 3665. The last important com component is the CD. This is where all the embroideries are found. So with the CD you'll get the 16 embroideries. We have three themes three themes that you can embroider for the little one in your life. Fluttering butterflies is this first layette. You can see the butterflies cascading down the front of the jammies, along the blanket, on the hat. You can see many areas of the beautiful embroidery. Then we have marching elephants, perfect for little boys, along the top, even at the pants, hat, and again, bib and along the blanket. And then a kind of a unisex design with rubber duckies and rattles. Perfect for little boys or little girls, depending upon which fabric color that you choose. If you're wondering what these two-in-one embroideries look like, because it is a little different concept, let me show you some of the stitch outs. The fluttering butterflies embroidery for the corner of the blanket shows the stitch outline plus the decorative embroidery. It's all in one. No merging is needed. Here's the same concept, same design theme for the shoulder embroidery. We've taken into consideration all of the seam allowances. There will be no embroideries in the seam allowance area. Here again is the same motif going down the front of the jammies. We've taken into consideration all the sizes that are included in the pattern envelope, sizes newborn through large. You'll be matching your size according to the size that's stitched in the area. Now for those marching elephants, one of my favorite designs, this is the stitch outline for the bib area or for the lower, layer, lower area of the top for the little boys. Aren't they cute? You could change the color and make them pink, perfect for a little girl. And I'll be working with the rubber duckies, the rattles, and the toys. This is the embroidery that you'll be using for a blanket corner or the embroidery for the jammies you can see the cute illustration or the cute design that's going to go down the front. It's really a fun thing to embroider. There's no guesswork at all. The components that you'll need for embroidery are standard for any computerized embroidery. You'll need your PC and it means to transfer the designs from the CD to a flash drive, a floppy disk, or a storage media unit. Now the formats that the two-in-one embroideries works with are the following the BLF, the PES, the DST, and the EXP. They're larger formats because you'll see we have very long, beautiful designs. I've transferred the designs to my thumb drive, placed in my machine, and now I'm going to draw them up so that you can see an option to choose. I put all 16 on the thumb drive. The embroidery that I'm going to be placing is going to be on the shoulder area of the jammies. When the embroidery comes up, you will see that it is including the stitch outline plus all of the embroideries, all in one, hence the name two in one. Now it's time to do the embroidery. I've placed a stabilizer in the hoop. That's where the first embroidery is going to be placed. I'll lower the foot and I can just stitch the stitch outline right on the stabilizer. The stabilizer I've chosen is water activated sticky back stabilizer. You could use your favorite stabilizer for this technique. 
after the stitching, then you can remove the hoop slightly from the embroidery unit so that you can place the fabric that has been cut out following the McCall's pattern number and the outline into position. Dampen a sponge and dampen the area where the fabric will be positioned. Now if you're using a different type of stabilizer, you could simply use a spray adhesive, but right now I'm just matching the stitch outline and the fabric. This first stitch has been digitized to fit the pattern exactly. And now replace the hoop in the embroidery unit. I'm going to make sure that the fabric is out of the way of the design. I'll lower the presser foot and then change threads. You'll find all the thread sequencing in the book, so you'll have very little guesswork. You'll know exactly where the thread should be placed and what sequencing. You can also change the thread sequencing color or the thread colors to match the areas of your fabric that you may like. Perhaps you'd like more of a pink theme than a blue theme. So right now I have the electric blue color in place and I'm ready to stitch the next stitching. Now it's just like any embroidery but everything has been positioned perfectly because of the stitch outline. There are eight additional colors that are involved here. You'll be going from a gray to an orchid to a plum color to get all the colorations of the little ducks and the rattles and the little rattles that they have for the little babies. And now I have just done the first one, then I would just change the color to the next one, just following the simple embroidery process as always. But as you can see, the design is right in place. And here's a completed embroidery. All eight embroidery steps have been completed just by changing the threads. And you'll notice the placement is perfect because the stitch outlines were matched to the fabric and then the embroidery was completed. Now it's time to add embroidery to any other element of the layout. We embroidered many portions of this little jammy set, the shoulder area and down the front. And here's Taylor wearing our completed ensemble. Notice the cute hat. And you can see the embroidery on the shoulder and the front of his jammies. It's an adorable outfit and so easy to embroider. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how effortless it is to embroider a charming layette with two-in-one embroideries. The combined stitch outlines and the embroidery designs guarantee beautiful results. Two-in-one embroideries for babies available through sewing, quilting, and embroidery stores nationwide.